New details at 5.30. An Attleboro man accused of raping a disabled woman last week remains held without bail tonight. David Rogers is facing several charges, including kidnapping and aggravated rape. Today, a dangerousness hearing took place. Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer was there and joins us now live in Attleboro. Brittany. Well, Mike Caroline Rogers showed no emotion in court today as the judge ruled he will stay behind bars, but his defense attorney says there's still a way he could be released. David Rogers is ruled a danger to the community Friday and is held without bail. Police say they found the 63 year old Attleboro man raping a disabled woman in the South Main Street MBTA parking lot last Friday. The male and the female were both to be observed uh, to be naked from the waist down. The male was on top of the female. Police credit a woman out walking her dog with alerting them. Officer Christopher Ulbrich says the 57 year old victim has a mental disability and is known to police. She's homeless. She's she does have a, a diminished, when you speak with her, you, you can tell that she's not all there. The hearing was put on hold while Judge Daniel O'Shea viewed a video of Rogers allegedly confessing. O'Shea says the video made all the difference. It's chilling to watch that videotape uh, where, on the one hand, Mr. Rogers, who appears to be properly Mirandized, um, admits to essentially um, many of the factors necessary for the Commonwealth's uh, uh, litigation. Uh, but does so in a way that uh, is strikingly cavalier for someone who doesn't have a record. Defense attorney Josh Warner tells me he understood the video differently. I see an individual who's uh, obviously upset and I uh, characterize it as being depressed. We'll follow up on what the judge has indicated as a possible means to find a suitable alternative to having him held in custody. And Werner would not comment on exactly what that alternative is, but tells me they are they may seek a mental evaluation for Rogers. He's due back in court on January 31st. Live in Attleboro, Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.